Hi, it's Maggie the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your June 2020 mid-month general reading. We're looking at the last half of June. This reading is for the sign of Leo, fire sign of Leo, Leo sun, Leo moon, Leo rising. If your Venus is in Leo, if you're cross-watching for Leo, uh, if you know all of your signs, watch them all. General readings, of course, always mean something a little different to uh, everyone who watches. And by watching all of your sign videos, it can help kind of bring in uh, more information and give you a little more clarity in what's going on in your life today. If any of the readings do resonate with you and you'd like to take a deeper look at something, reach out for a personal reading or information about that, just click on the description link below. Click on that little arrow that pulls down information. You'll see uh, some contact details there. You can email me directly at Maggie the number one mcguire at gmail.com. I'd be delighted to work with you. Uh, I can usually respond with more information within the same day or the first 24 hours, and I do readings full time, so I'm pretty diligent at working with everyone's schedules to get readings set up with you uh, or for you um, in as timely a fashion as possible. So send me an email if you're interested. All right, let's move right into this. I hope everyone is staying safe and well today and <laughs> conditions that uh, often seem on the unsafe and insane sort of uh, frame. Let's remember to, uh, to be kind to each other first and foremost. Thanks for taking the time to tune in today, here anyway, uh, for a small period of sanity. Okay, Leo, <clears throat> let's take a look at what the last half of June shows for you. I am using the Legacy of the Divine Tarot, for those of you who need to know. Okay, Leo. Alright, Leo. We begin with the Ace of Coins, followed by the Two of Wands, the Eight of Swords, followed by the Two of Swords. From the bottom of the deck, overall energy for the last half of June is the High Priestess, which typically means, Leo, <clears throat> that your intuition is pretty razor sharp during this period of time. However, it also looks here because of this Eight of Swords and Two of Swords that you're trying really hard not to pay attention to it or you're not listening to it or you don't want to look at it. Something that something's, you know, that it feels like there's a, a message that's trying to get through or you have some kind of higher knowledge or uh, um, some kind of intuitive sense or draw or feeling or a thought or idea that's kind of tugging at you or you know, what about this, 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 something that's, you know, our intuition is our connection with the divine. Basically, it is the sort of spiritual conduit or cable or hose through which we get, you know, inspiration, messages, uh, things that seem to be coincidental or random but aren't. Some people call it gut instinct, higher self. It's about paying attention to those things and to your intuition, what your intuition uh, where your intuition is leading you, even if it conflicts with other things outside of that or other people. Uh, you know, paying attention to dreams which either are repeating dreams or dreams which have the same thing, theme. So <clears throat> that's all intuitive abilities. It's a card that represents listening uh, more than talking, paying attention to those things and kind of going where you feel led. Um, however, it looks like you're having difficulty doing that in the last half of June with something that you're either trying to get off the ground or it hasn't gone off the ground or you don't know how to take it further than where it is, which is kind of at an ace. Let's let's clarify some of this first. Let's clarify the high priestess. <clears throat> what is this intuition, this intuitive sense? What is trying to come through here? Okay, we have one that jumped out. The Nine of Coins. So for many of you, Leo, this may resonate um, 
in the area of your life that deals with mostly the earth energy area of your life, which is like career, work, projects, finance, material aspects, uh, because we have we have two two coins, uh, otherwise known as pentacles, two swords. So earth energy, air energy, thinking energy, practical energy, um, a little bit of fire energy. This looks like. All right, well, let's let's take it from the beginning. So there's that intuition, that high priestess. What's that about? It's about the nine of coins. So coins, or pentacles, as it's known in some decks, this is earth energy. That's the element which governs the suit. And it's all about, you know, the things in our practical day-to-day -day life, even the physical structure of our day-to-day -day life, that make our life feel stable, secure, gives us a sense of continuity, whether that's actual financial stuff, dollars and cents, material things, our job, projects, long-term relationships, the people that make us feel, you know, like we have roots that go deep. Um, that's the energy of the suit of coins, whether it's emotional or physical or a combination of both. It's about the things in the day-to-day -day physical structure of our life that make that structure feel safe on a day-to-day -day basis, stable on a day-to-day -day basis. It can be physical or emotional. So what is your intuition trying to tell you here? Well, we have the nine of coins. So the nine of coins, nines always represent being close to the end of a cycle because tens numerically represent a cycle kind of drawing to a close or coming to a, a, an end or a fulfillment where then it transitions into something else. So nine represents being close to the ultimate fulfillment of a suit. So we're at the nine of coins here. So the nine of coins is a card that represents that you've worked really hard to get to this place, particularly in a financial or material or emotional security place, you've worked really hard to get to that place and you've done it either on your own or mostly on your own, which is something that nobody can take away from you. So it's a card of being in that place and feeling really good about it, feeling good about yourself, feeling good about where you are, knowing that where you are and what the things that you have that you're currently enjoying, you've worked really hard for. Nobody's handed anything to you on a silver platter. You know, you've worked hard for the things that you're now enjoying and the stability that you have, whether it's financial, material, emotional, combination of all of those things, which it usually is because with working hard to get yourself to a place of comfort and success by your own definition, with that comes that sense of independence, self-assurance, self-confidence, self-empowerment of knowing that you can rely on and take care of yourself just fine with little to no help from anyone else. Whether you have other people in your life, uh, even romantically, if you're single, uh, you're fine with that. Uh, if you're looking, you'll take your time because you're not, you know, looking out of a sense of absolute compulsory need. You're really, really good with who you are, the skin you live in, uh, where you've come from, where you're going, where you are, etc. It's a beautiful energy. So your intuition, Leo, is trying to, <clears throat> it may be trying to tell you that whatever this new project or new beginning or new job or even in an emotional like relationship sort of sense, you you may not need, you may not be bound by having help or needing help or at least not as much as you feel you might. So let's let's move on from that. So that's your intuitive sense. Your intuitive sense, I, it, it feels like it feels like you're trapped by something or you feel you can't get out of a situation or move something along, Leo. But there, the reason that you are is because there's something you're not looking at, but your intuition is trying to get you to look at it. But for some reason you're having difficulty or you're, there's a reluctance or a resistance to look at something and that something is the nine of coins, that you are enough. Whether it's, you know, maybe you are starting your own business. I mean, that's what the Ace of Coins can represent. A new job, uh, a new project, moving, relocating, a combination of those things. It's a new beginning, this Ace of Coins, that holds a lot of potential. Because in the Ace, which is the one, is the potential to work and grow to make it the Nine of Coins here. And the, sorry, I think I said Pentacles. And the Ten of, of Coins, which is, you know, the treasure chest spilling over. It all begins here with the Ace, the idea, the opportunity, the beginning, the start. 
Uh, it could be a new project, it could be a new job, it could be starting, moving and starting a new life somewhere else. It's a new beginning or a new opportunity um, in a fairly practical sense that holds a lot of potential if you treat it properly. You know, aces, I kind of look at aces as, you know, <clears throat> the lucky seed. Uh, but that's not going to, you know, turn into anything unless you plant it and do the work for it. So the opportunity is here. And it looks like you're trying to <clears throat> figure out how to or whether to take it in a certain direction. How do I grow this opportunity? How do I, you know, in numerical order in, in regards to the cards, the aces are the beginning. And then we have the two after that. <clears throat> which is usually about being at a crossroads and needing to make a choice. Okay, I have this beginning. Um, so the two usually speaks of duality and needing to make a decision or um, being in that place where you, you need to choose one path, one way, or another. How do I grow this? <clears throat> Excuse me. A little hoarse today. So the two of wands, wands is a suit governed by the element of fire, action, change, movement, creative, artistic, energy. So for some of you, this might be a new project, a new job, a new business, or, you know, just having a practical new beginning. So here we are at the ace of wands. Which way do I go? Which path do I choose? Which box do I unlock to start moving this forward? How do I take this ace to a 10? I need to make decisions on what I'm going to do. So for example, if this is like starting a new side gig or a new business or, uh, you know, even a new job, how do I, what are the steps I need to take to begin this path to grow it, to take it from a two to a three to a four, you know, all and through all of that. So that's the energy. It looks like around the, you know, the middle of June, third week of June or so. And it feels like your intuition is telling you that, you know, if you think you can't do it on your own, that you can or that you're not enough or that you're not good enough you, you are capable enough, you are because you've worked hard to get to this place where you have this opportunity. And if it's an idea for a new job or a new business, uh, you know, this is kind of like spirit kind of dropping it into your lap. And so if there's any naysayers saying, oh, that won't work, that won't be successful, you can't do that on your own, or all businesses fail, or you don't have what it takes to get that job, I don't know how you got that job, you, they'll, you know, you don't have what it takes to, to do that, you do. Your intuition is trying to tell you, you've worked really hard. You're, you're the nine of pentacles, and you or the nine of coins, and you can be the nine of coins. Um, and you're trying to figure out, it feels like you've, Leo, maybe you've lost a bit of, maybe there's a bit of self-doubt or insecurity, or maybe you've lost a bit of your kind of moxie of, of knowing that you're, you're Leo, you're king of the beast, you don't, you know, you don't, you can do this for yourself too and that you have what it takes to do this even if it involves other people because there's that energy okay I have this new beginning I have this new opportunity this new start job business work moving you know a new life starting what are the decisions I need to do to keep this going and to grow so then we have two challenging cards we have the eight of swords and the two of swords so swords is air energy, that's the element which governs the suit. That's all about what goes on up in our heads. Air energy is mental energy, cerebral, intellectual, psychological energy. What we think, how we communicate what we think, what goes on in our heads, belief systems, ideologies, perceptions. Because that drives the way we see the world, communicate with the world, and people in the world. So the Age of Swords, this is a card about feeling <laughs> trapped, bound caught in a sticky spider web and all of these swords around her and blindfolded too and blindfolded here too in the accompanying card blindfolded you know there's a blindfold over the eye so you you can't see it's feeling stuck not knowing which direction to go but accompanied by the two of swords I, and again your intuition is trying to tell you something but you're you're allowing the blindfold to remain there because in this rendition of the eight of swords uh, her hands aren't bound, although she's kind of stuck in the sticky cobweb, but she can pull herself free. She could free herself from those um, binds, uh, rip free of the cobwebs, take the blindfold off. Um, the swords can represent a lot of different f things going on in your heads, ideas, fears, insecurities, doubts, or one overriding, you know, fear or insecurity. 
Um, this is a card of feeling trapped like you can't free yourself, but you actually can. The only thing kind of keeping you trapped there is some idea that you have that you can't grow this thing. You can't remove yourself from it. You can't move on. You can't proceed by yourself and that you're helpless, that you're a victim, you're helpless. You need someone to come and rescue you. Sometimes we do need help. Sometimes we do need people to rescue us. Sometimes we need to be rescued, you know. But this isn't one of them, Leo. When you look at all the cards around it and just kind of the general energy, it feels like you're in a situation where you're trying to manifest some kind of new beginning. You're trying to manifest this ace of coins, a start, whether it's physically moving, relocating, new job, new business, new project, new something. You feel like you can't because of, you know, I mean, there's a ton of you watching, so fill in. The excuses we give ourselves. I can't because I can't do it on my own. I can't because I'm afraid. I can't because I'm too young. I'm too old. I'm too big, I'm too little, I'm too rich, I'm too poor, I'm too, you know, I'm not smart enough, I'm too smart. I'm, you know, whatever excuses we give ourselves for not trying something that we're afraid that we might fail at. So that's that's all of the things that these swords represent and that's what's keeping you trapped. This is kind of a card of, you know, your mind being its own worst enemy. You know, your fears, doubts, and insecurities kind of hijacking your rational uh, mind and your intuition, remember, which is telling you, hey, you've worked really hard. You didn't get here by accident. This opportunity or idea or desire for this new beginning is no accident. You have everything that you need in order to manifest whatever this is that you want because it's generating. It's going to mean different things. You might want to move. You might want to start over again. It might be a new job. It might be wanting a new job. It might be a project or a side gig or a business of some kind. Now, what's accompanying and clarifying that I'm trapped, I can't free myself because of, you know, fill in the blank, is the Two of Swords. We have two twos next to each other. It's a card about being at a crossroads. Duality. Choices. Left, right. Do I open this box? Do I open that one? And in this particular deck, I mean, the Two of Swords is almost an aggressive determination not to see something, a reluctance and a resistance to see something right in front of you. And I, I call your attention, Leo, to the fact that it sounds like I'm ragging on you a little bit. Uh, I don't mean to. Uh, my son is in Leo. I have the hair for it, right? Um, but... In this deck, the Two of Swords, which can often represent a reluctance and a resistance to take the blindfold off to see something that's right in front of you, or to make the choice that is the choice to make, which your intuition is kind of, you know, poking at you to, to see, to make. This is kind of, I mean, here, we're grasping these two swords, the, 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 what it is, and we're almost, it's, it's, it, <laughs> This particular Two of Swords, Leo, feels like an almost aggressive determination to hang on to the blindness because if we allow the blindfold to fall off, then we take a look around and, and, and we can say, okay, well, it's going to cost me this and it's going to take this particular effort and steps and actions, but I can free myself from this because the only thing that's actually keeping me here is something, some tape in my head saying, I can't do this. I'm not enough. I'm not enough on my own. I need to be rescued. I need someone to come in and do it for me. You don't. Um, you don't. And your intuition is really, I think, pulling at you, tugging at you, poking at you, or maybe just jabbing at you um, the last half of June saying that you can, whatever this is that you're trying to manifest that you think you can't, you can in and of yourself, you have everything that you need. You've already worked hard to get to this place. Don't forget that. Let's clarify this Eight of Swords. What is it that you feel trapped by or bound to?
four of coins and the queen of wands here you are the queen of wands fierce i actually love i really love the queen of wands in this deck because she looks like such a warrior fierce charismatic independent strong a good leader a good delegator she's somebody who gets it done knows how to get it done if something isn't working let's turn and figure out a way to get it done but the first card that came out is the four of coins sometimes called the miser card this can represent financial frugality needing to be really careful with your money basically coins you know is about resources whether those resources are dollars and cents material things people um, so here in the four of coins we're hoarding we're kind of holding on to what we have maybe because we've lost a lot in the past and we don't want to lose what we have left we don't want to you know open up we don't want to let go it can be a card of of feeling like you can't devote or invest or give to whatever this thing is that you want to manifest this new beginning because whatever it is that it that you need to invest in it which you can and you have if you do that then you might lose and then where will you be at the end that's kind of what I'm getting because here maybe you've lost a lot in the past before maybe maybe this is going to take a certain amount of financial investment or you know investment of whatever resources it is but you don't want to let go of those resources you don't want to invest in it because what if you lose and then you won't even have these four that you're holding on to right so it looks like that is the thing that you're telling yourself to keep you in this place where you're saying I, I can't I can't manifest this I can't do this or I can't do it on my own but you can right underneath that is the Queen of Wands you're the Queen of Wands Leo Aries Sagittarius energy fierce energy does she look like somebody who goes I can't I need to be rescued no she's not she's the Queen of Wands she's the nine of coins here beautiful energy Let's clarify, I don't usually clarify so much, but I'm intrigued. Let's clarify the Two of Swords. What is it you're not seeing? Besides the fact that you have everything that it takes, you have what you need to invest in this, and you don't need to depend on somebody else to do it. It's not to say that if you don't need genuine help, you can't. If you need genuine help, reach out and ask for help. But there's this sense here that I'm getting, Leo, that you've forgotten who you are. That's my attempt at Aurora. It's pretty pathetic, I know. Um, <clears throat> this is who you are. Male or female, this is who you are. And it's like you've forgotten that a little bit. It's like, I can't do it, or I can't do it on my own because I, I can't afford to invest in this. Whether it's actual dollars and cents, I can't afford to invest. I need help. I can't do it on my own or I just can't do it. You know, I have this new opportunity, but it probably won't go anywhere, blah, 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 blah. So what is that Two of Swords about? Okay, that's what we're clarifying here. The Four of Cups. Here again, we have a cup. We have an opportunity. It's another four. We have an opportunity here. Fours can represent stability. They can also represent stagnation, which can be sometimes what the four of coins represents. Right. So if you don't invest and you don't try and grow these coins or invest them in something, which could pay out much bigger in the long run, you'll keep the four coins. They won't go to three coins or two coins or nothing, but they also won't grow to five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten either. That ace will turn into a dried out seed that sits in your drawer because nothing was ever done with it because you, for whatever reasons. Here we have the four of cups. This man is already doing all right. He's got three cups upright and full and there's another one being offered to him. Again, an opportunity, perhaps a new beginning. But, eh, I don't know. I'm, I'm okay with what I have. At least I have these three cups. At least I have these four coins. You know, if I invest, if I let go of them in the hopes of growing it into something else, what happens if I lose and I won't have anything? That's kind of the message I keep hearing. And here we have strength. Goodness. 
I think this is your overall advice and message. Remember who you are. Remember you're a Leo. Strength is about facing your fears, your doubts, your insecurities, wrestling with your shadow self. When we say shadow self, we're talking about, and everybody has a shadow self. Shadow self represents the parts of ourselves, the thoughts, the ideas, maybe the little beliefs or discriminations or, you know, uh, patterns of bad choices or bad behavior, the things that we don't really like to look at in ourselves and we certainly wouldn't like other people to see either. Habits. Strength is about because it does take true inner strength, true humility, wisdom, insight, to take a look at those things, to take a look at those fears, those doubts, those insecurities, you know, to, to, to rip off the blanket and look at what's actually really under the bed. Most of the time, it's not the boogeyman. If it is, we wrestle with it, we submit it, uh, we subdue it, and we move on. Most of the time, it's, you know, dust bunnies, chewed up old shoes, things that we've forgotten under there, you know. Strength is about having the courage to take a look at what it is that we're afraid of, what it is that we don't want to see here, our insecurities and self-doubts, which is basically what I'm getting here, Leo, and facing them by actually moving forward into them, dealing with them, if they turn out to be just unsubstantiated fear is great if it turns out to be a fear that we actually have to wrestle with and figure out okay I'm not going to do this anymore then that's what we do as well that's about moving forward so you can whatever this is whatever excuses you're using or reasons you're saying you can't do this you can you can't you've worked hard your intuition is trying to tell you but it's hard for you to see so let's pull some final gosh we're almost at a half an hour here. all right let's pull some final advice and guidance cards for you well, we already have a, a pretty amount of, pretty fair amount of advice and guidance here, but let's just ask for a card or two specifically for that. Advice and guidance for Leo. At least for the last half of June. These are short periods of time, just a couple of weeks. Six of Swords moving away from troubled times, doubts, fears, insecurities. This is a card of peace and healing. It's a card of moving away. And the interesting thing is that she's by herself. Again, if this is something that you need, genuinely need help and other people's resources, then do it. But if you yourself or the people are saying you can't do this, you can't do this on your own, you're helpless, you can't, blah, 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 you can. You can. This is a card about healing, peace, movement, movement to a better place. Whatever this Ace of Coins is, whether it's it's moving, relocating, a new job, a new project, it's all about having a new start that's going to lead you to a place of long-term stability and security. And here is where you need to start because this is healing as well. And then right behind that we have the star. This is hope, faith, renewed hope, faith, and restoration after a period of darkness. This is trusting that the path you're on, where you're feeling like you're led to go and where your intuition is trying to pull you. This is one of the wish fulfillment cards, but it's it's about moving forward in faith, even if you can't see more than the next step in front of you. This is about moving forward and trusting that your intuition, which is really God's spirit, your angels and guides, is pulling you in the right direction. That's the only thing that you need to rely on here. You have everything that you need in order to begin to manifest this. With or without any help, you have everything that you need. Leo, because you're Leo. So I'm just going to stop there, Leo. That is your reading for the last half of June. I hope you found it useful. It's quite empowering if you see it from the right perspective. So thanks again for tuning in. I hope this was helpful. If you want to take a deeper look at something, reach out for a personal reading. Feel free to email me directly at Maggie, the number one McGuire at gmail.com. I'd be delighted to work with you. Uh, <clears throat> you can get that information by clicking on the description link below, clicking on that little arrow. I will see you all again in a couple of weeks for the July uh, 2020 general reading. Stay safe, stay well, stay kind, and uh, I hope to see you back here again soon. Bye-bye.